My package is here. Okay. How do you open it? The safest way. Okay, that might work. My package is here from Wellington Fragrance. And I'm going to unbox it with you. Yes, that's classical music you hear. Pretty excited. First of all, we have... They call them peanuts, but you don't eat them. Never. Okay, so we'll get rid of these peanuts. I'll just pour them all over the table. Why not? My husband took my son to go have what they call Daddy Day. We already had a picnic, a little picnic, kind of COVID style, but it was pleasant with um, with some friends and. So they brought me back here and now I can do this unboxing video with you. Aha! First of all, when you make an order with Wellington, they send you fragrances. And if it's under $100, then you get three fragrances of your choice. I think just, uh, I think it's, yeah, anyway, I'm not sure that that includes essential oils, but it's really a great um, deal, I think. If you do over a hundred dollars and you get five of your choice. So I got the three, so it's under a hundred, and they're each um, half of an ounce. So you can still make a small project that's half an ounce for sure. And that is really the nice thing to have a freebie. Baby powder. Now I can know if I want to order this in the future. Yes, that smells nice. I like that. Good job, Wellington. This is my first ever Wellington um, box. Romantic Musk. Really, I don't know if the music in the background is distracting or not, but it sets the mood for me while I open this box. And we're going to smell Romantic Musk. Oh yeah, that smells like a good musk. Yes, I approve. Very good. All right, what else do we have of the samples? Sea breeze. Let's see what their sea breeze is like. Hmm, it's nice. It wasn't what I was expecting. It's like a soft. It almost reminds me of the baby powder and the musk. Are they already getting together in my nose? I don't know. Maybe I need to um, smell some coffee to clean out my, my nose palette. <laughs> Don't they say that about coffee? If you sniff coffee, it helps start over. I might be wrong. I'm, maybe I made that up. This one is rose. We've got eight ounces of it, so that can make about four loaves of soap. That's a lot of soap. Because I use about two ounces per loaf. Sometimes I use more. Yep. Yeah, it smells like rose. It's good. It's good. All right. Um, now this one is called Rain. Let's see what Rain is like. Wait, I can't. Yes. Yes, I like it. I think all the scents are blurring into my brain now. Yes, yes, that would say rain. I like it. <laughs> Clear my nose. All right, now what do we have here? Okay, this is an essential oil. I'm going to set that aside for last. Maybe that would help clear my my senses a little, switch up a little, maybe. Maybe I won't do it last. So this is two ounces, which means I can make um, two loaves of the. Uh, Christmas soap this year. You know, the one that smells like a tree, Christmas tree. And this is from a different company than I've been using for that. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I wish I, I wonder if I had the other bottle. It'd be good to compare this to the other company that I've been using for the last three years. I thought I'd try this new company. This, this is right. Smell it again. 
Christmas tree. It has a strong pungent smell that I that it isn't saying Christmas tree to me. Well, we're gonna try it. That's what I got for this year. Now we have peppermint fragrance oil. This is not essential oil, this is fragrance. Mmm. Oh, I better close it before I accidentally taste it, which would be poisonous, probably. No, we don't want to taste it. It smells good. Peppermint. And this is for, uh, so the, those two, for a needle and peppermint, are, you know, thinking ahead about Christmas. And I may look into a couple more, but, or at least one more. This is for fall. Apple and oak. Let's try it out. Wow, that takes me to, I like that, it's like, oh, I like that, that's perfect for fall. It's warm, it's deep, and I don't know how to, it's, I don't know how to explain it, I like it, it's definitely a good fall scent. And here is allspice. Yes. Yes. I am very happy with that choice. These two fall choices are great. These two fall choices are great. Now I want to compare that fur needle to the one I have. I just don't know if I still have the bottle from last year from the other company. But this is the one I'm using. I ordered it, so we're going to give it a try. It has more of a... I hate to say it, it almost reminds me of pine salt. But that's their fur needle essential oil, so hey. So this has been my first package from Wellington Fragrance and um, my un first unboxing, of course, of their company. And I'm pretty pleased. I, I um, I'll know over time as I use the essential, I mean, as I use the fragrance oils, what I actually think of each one of them. Some of them I was like, yes, and others I was like, hmm. But for the most part, I'm happy, and um, I like the packaging, and the service was quick, and everything looks clean and nice, and I'm pretty happy, and I'm excited to try these things out. So thanks for joining me on this unboxing video that I was not paid to make <laughs> for Wellington Fragrance. Take care. Oh, don't forget to subscribe please and like this video if you liked it.